Today on FAQ Fridays, we're going to be talking about how much load will S5 clamps hold. Curtis Ward. Today I'm joined by Jesse Winternitz, S5's product development engineer. Jesse, thanks for taking your time out of your day to sit down with us. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. So now one of the questions uh, we get asked a lot is how much load will S5 clamps hold? And I, I assume that this there isn't one answer to this question. No, absolutely not. We'll talk about later why we use the normal orientation for, with mini clamps, why we use the parallel orientation with standard clamps. We also test our brackets on exposed fastened roofing and publish that right on our website as well. Also, all of our testing is done by and reported by an A2LA accredited laboratory. And then finally, we'll address what to do if your specific roof panel has not been tested yet. All right. Why are standard and mini clamps tested in different orientations? So we test our mini clamps in negative load normal to seam orientation because they're the lesser of the two clamps as far as load values are concerned. Much of the clamp strength comes from the mechanical interlock that the set screw creates when it pushes the roof material into the dimple on the clamp wall. And it also, the mini clamp also utilizes one set screw instead of two like our standard size clamp. Often when load is pulled negative normal to the seam, the clamp isn't the weak link in the chain of assembly. With very few exceptions, the attachment of the S5 clamp to the seam, even the mini clamp, will be stronger than the roof panel attached to the building structure itself, which is to say the S5 clamp usually isn't the weak link, but instead it's going to be the clips that attach the seam to the roof structure, or it could even be the beam strength of the uh, the roof seam itself. Ultimate loads normal to the seam, both positive and negative, are more of a function of the beam strength of the seam or of the failure point of the attachments that hold the roof panel to the structure itself, more than of the S5 clamps. For example, if your roof's designed to hold a 300 pound point load and the clamp can hold 2,000 pounds, then there's no point in using an even stronger clamp. We test our standard two set screw clamp in parallel to seam orientation because typically this load orientation utilizes an application where the clamp to seam connection could be the weak link. An example of this could be snow retention. We have performed numerous datum tests with our mini size clamps in parallel to seam testing and concluded that a conservative estimate of how much strength they can get is at least half the strength of the standard size clamp on the same profile. In fact, the vast majority get got closer to two-thirds the holding strength of the standard size clamp. Should the load application pulling load parallel to the seam be critical to your application, we suggest using the standard two-set screw design. If you need to know what our standard size clamps get pulling load negative normal to the seam, you can use our mini size clamps as a conservative value. So should you have any questions about a standard size clamp being pulled negative load normal to the seam, a mini size clamp being pulled parallel to the seam, or you just don't see a roof tested, feel free to reach out to us. We have plenty of tests that go unpublished. So what do I do if my panel profile hasn't been tested by S5? What, what steps do I need to take to determine my load values? So if your panel hasn't been tested by S5 yet, reach out to us. We're more than happy to help our customers get reliable information on how much load our clamps will hold. Often we can suggest a test to cross-reference your roof with, since profiles are often identical. Sometimes manufacturers will use the same roll former and their panels will be the same. We also may be able to do some additional testing for you on your roof profile. It is a service that S5 can offer on different job-to-job -job basis. So reach out to us at support at s-5.com. Our database of testing is significant and we often have the testing done on an identical profile under a different trade name. So if you send us the name of the manufacturer and the name of the profile, we can often suggest the same panel. Or if you need a certified test report, we can do the testing free of charge for you. Simply inquire and we'll send you our testing protocols, the specimens requirements, and we'll get the testing set up for you.
Well, thank you, Jesse, for joining us. I greatly appreciate you taking the time. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. And thank you all for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have a question that you want answered, be sure to comment down below. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next Friday. Today I'm joined with... <laughs> Jesse Haddock. Under the resource tab. Under the... Yeah, that's right. That is right. You've been saying it right. No, I know. I just feel like I mispronounced that word. Should the load application... <laughs> <laughs> I saw that too.